ELA masters, remember, as good readers, we need to make sure that we think about all of our topic sentences, the important details in an info text, and we put them together to form one main idea. As I was looking at all of my highlighted topic sentences, the first repeated topic sentence that I came up with was that when Japan refused to surrender during World War II, the U.S. destroyed Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki with atomic bombs. My second repeated topic sentence was that, as a result, hundreds of thousands of Japanese civilians died from these attacks, and thousands more died sometime after being sick from the bombs. And we know that was caused by radiation. ELA Masters, now it's your turn. Make sure that you answer all the parts of our exit ticket today and make sure, especially for our last question, that we use evidence from this text to support our answer. The fiction text we're going to read for the next two weeks, Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, is about a Japanese girl named Sadako who lives in Hiroshima in the 1950s. So ELA Masters, don't get tricked. We know that these events happened in 1945, but Sadako, who we'll be reading about later in our historical fiction text, lived in Hiroshima in the 1950s, so several years after the atomic bombs dropped. Based on what you now know about this time period, what do you predict might happen in the story? Remember to write an RAC response with at least one piece of evidence from the atomic bomb. Don't get tricked, friends. You need to make sure that you are using what we added to our schema and the atomic bomb to help you predict what will happen in Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. Again, scholars, there was a lot to process while we are reading this text. So I would encourage you, as you're reading and as you're reflecting on our thoughts and feelings of this text, to have your historical fiction journal with you. Or maybe find a parent or sibling, or go to office hours with your teachers. And ask yourselves, when I read about what the atomic bomb did to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, I felt Mm, about mm. Maybe you can ask yourselves, do you think that the U.S. was right in dropping the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Why or why not? I can't wait to hear your excellent thinking, scholars, and your hard work in today's lesson. Have a great day, scholars!